hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and having a great day so i have a bit of a festive one for you guys this week because christmas is almost upon us and i'm really starting to get into that christmas mood i'm lighting candles more i also didn't get to have the christmas that i planned last year i was supposed to host but due to lockdown restrictions, things didn't really go according to plan. So I'm really hoping that this year's Christmas will make up for that. So I'm gonna start sharing with you guys the things that I have been purchasing to prepare for Christmas and to get into that mood. So hopefully you will get some inspiration if you are also in the process of preparing for Christmas. A few of the things that I'm gonna share with you guys are actually from last year, because again, I didn't get to have the Christmas that I planned for. Only a few though. And the first one is a beautiful collection of crackers. And I wanted to share this because I do plan to do some table scaping. And I think that during Christmas, a table scape is definitely not complete without a collection of crackers. And I got these ones from Selfridges. And I have to say that I think Selfridges really, really have brilliant buyers. Whoever their buyers are, I think really do a great job of bringing in brands and items that their customers are gonna love. And this one for me really hit the nail on the head if you know anything about me you will know that i absolutely love velvet and these box of crackers have beautiful velvet bows on them and i think that they will go really really well with the tablescape aesthetic that i'm planning to go for so you probably won't find the exact same ones because again i got these ones last year but the reason why i'm sharing them is because they are essential if you want to create a beautiful christmas tablescape but also because i think selfridges and actually harrods i would say the high-end department stores i think do have really beautiful aesthetic cracker options so that's basically why i'm sharing this one so hopefully that will be helpful for anyone that wants to have um, crackers for their christmas tablescape wrapping paper obviously is essential and i think from my perspective cox and cox is one of the most incredible websites when you want to get wrapping paper and i think christmas decor pieces and i bought two rolls of wrapping paper and the first one is i wouldn't say it's festive but i actually really like the colors of it of course it has beautiful um gold bees on it and the kind of base color of the wrapping paper is a very dark charcoal and i'll do some close-ups hopefully so you guys can see the beauty of this um, wrapping paper but i think again it will go really really well with kind of the decor and the mood that i'm going to create so this is again um from cox and cox so should be available and what i will try and do guys because i'm really bad at this is linking all of the items below that are available so have a look in the description box if you want to get anything that i have um, shared in this video and the second wrapping paper is definitely a lot more festive it has beautiful snowflakes on it which hopefully you can see there very similar color scheme to the b1 that i showed you guys um but again from cox and cox who do really really beautiful aesthetic wrapping paper so these two i think whilst they are different patterns obviously um, i think complement complement each other really really well and i think will look really really beautiful under my christmas tree so speaking of christmas trees i bought a christmas tree last year from harrods that i have to say was actually very disappointing and as a result of that i have had to buy a new christmas tree and i bought the one that i now have from the white company i haven't even properly unboxed it yet but i'm going to share that with you guys in a separate video so stay tuned for that and moving on i want to share with you guys a brand that i discovered on selfridges very very recently again i think selfridges have elite buyers in their in their team and i came across this company because i was looking for aesthetic candles and candles can get really really pricey guys and i don't if i'm being honest mind spending on candles um but when i was browsing i came across this particular candle aesthetic and i just fell in love with it because it was so unique and i just thought it would go so so amazingly with the aesthetics of my home and what makes it even more special is that they are a black owned brand which i'm super super happy um, to discover 
I think it's basically a mother and daughter duo who started their candle company and the company is called Elephant and Bamboo, if I'm not mistaken. I will link the candles below, but they are sold on Selfridges, but also have their own website. And again, when I saw these candles, I was just like, this is so a bit of me. So I'm gonna share them with you guys right now. So let me just open, open them. So they do different candle um, styles, but this one is just completely and utterly my vibe. The packaging is really nice as well. Um, I'm gonna try and open this um, as quickly as I can to show you guys why I cannot wait to have them as part of my, not just, I think, not just Chris, my Christmas decor, but I think they will absolutely be um, part of my decor pretty much all year round. And I wanna share that with you guys right now. So I bought two types of candles from Elephant and Bamboo. Um, and the first one is a pillar candle, um, which is just, I think, super, super stunning. So this is the candle, guys, that I am absolutely obsessed with. I love how sophisticated it looks. I love the fact that it is not a rounded candle, which is traditionally what you would find when you're looking for candles. It has, it's basically like a long square pillar, which I just love. I'm somebody who likes straight lines and the aesthetic of this just really, really appealed to me. And it comes with this really lovely um, wax, um, I wanna call it stamp. So super super beautiful super aesthetic i love the fact that the angles on the candle aren't smooth they're a little bit rough around the edges which i really really think that my home needs because i don't really want my home to be too pristine and too perfect she says um so i quite like the roughness um but the sophistication of this aesthetic and again they do lots of different styles of candles but this one just absolutely spoke to me and i also bought it with um, another square, I will call it square candle, which is um, this one here. Again, it's super, super beautiful aesthetically. Very, very similar, um, obviously, in terms of aesthetic. Um, but I'm basically planning to um, style these two together like this. They will obviously work with my Christmas decor, but I think they will also work beyond Christmas. So I think they will have longevity. As a company, from what I understand, they um, these are soy candles, as I understand, and they are completely vegan, as I understand also. I will link the link for the candle that I bought on Selfridges, but also to their website as well. So I think that this one is actually sold out on Selfridges. The thing about Selfridges is they don't do large volumes of items um, for whatever reason. So this one, I believe I basically bought them all. <laughs> so I ended up buying in total, um, I think I ended up buying 10 candles in total. So five of these and then I think five of these. It might even be more, but I spent quite a bit on, on, on candles. Again, I think I mentioned that they are a black owned brand, so I'm more than happy to contribute to a young company that's doing amazing things. So here you go, guys. This is my candle collection, and I do have a collection because I've ordered quite a few of them from Elephant and Bamboo. Again, I will link them below, guys, in case you are interested in um, buying buying them as well. So the other thing that I wanna share with you guys is a Christmas tree topper. So I do have a Christmas tree topper that I think is the most stunning tree topper of all time that I bought last year from Selfridges, but I don't know if it goes with the aesthetics of the Christmas decorations that I'm planning to basically um, put onto my trees. So I wanted to give myself options, which is why I went for this one here. This one here is basically from Cox and Cox and it's very simple very affordable i think very affordable sorry i think it was about seven pounds so super super affordable the one that i actually bought from selfridges is actually to my left so if i grab it right here um, you can see the difference it is stunning though like i love the detailing on this one i mean it is absolutely beautiful again i think the buyers um 
from Selfridges and know what they're doing. So this is the one that I have from last year from Selfridges. So I won't link this because it literally isn't available um, anymore. And then this is the one that I got from Cox & Cox. So I'm gonna basically use style both and see which one works best. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up basically using this one. So stay tuned to find out when I actually get to uh, decorating my tree. So the next item that I wanna share with you guys is a collection of ball balls. And I bought loads and loads of ball balls last year and I went for a very um, gold and green, I think, vibe and aesthetic. And actually this year, I don't think that's gonna work for me, guys. I'm really, really drawn to warm tones at the moment and I feel that I needed to have much more warmer tones in terms of ball balls for my Christmas tree. So I had to basically buy a whole new collection or a whole new um, uh, oh, a collection, yeah, of baubles. And again, these ones are from Selfridges. Um, I think Selfridges and Harrods and actually Amara Living, I think do amazing baubles, as do Cox and Cox. So these ones are just, I just think absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna bring them a little bit closer so you can see. And again, I love the warm tones and I think they will go really, really well with my aesthetic, my antiques, my flooring. So I'm really looking forward to styling this um, on my Christmas tree. So stay tuned to see what this actually looks like. I'm really hoping that you can actually see. If you can't see any of these items clearly, guys, I'm gonna basically have another video where I show you all my decor pieces in detail. So you will get to have you know a close-up view of all of these pieces that I'm talking about. Alternatively, I may do cutaways in this video as well, if I have time, because I do actually not have that much time today to shoot. But these, again, are from Selfridges. They're absolutely stunning. So these ones are five pounds and I bought I think I bought um, about 20 of them. So it does definitely add up. The hope is that these ones will last me as long as possible, is my hope anyway, but I love them. They are absolutely beautiful from Selfridges and I will link them below if they are not sold out guys because the stuff on Selfridges sells out really quickly and they don't replenish Christmas stock for whatever reason. So, the other thing that I want to share with you guys is completely going to help me create the Christmas vibes, guys, that I am looking for. And it is, this is not it, but I can share this with you guys in a second. It is actually, not this either, I'll show that with you guys later, not this. It is, I have been looking to basically dress my fireplace. I have a non-functioning fireplace. I don't want it to be functioning, not in this house anyway. So, with that said, I, don't have the ability to create an actual fire, but I did want to have fireplace vibes is the best way that I can describe it. And the way that I wanted to do that was basically to have a beautiful iron basket with wood, starred with wood pieces. And I've been looking for a cast iron or iron fire basket for genuinely quite a while now. And I came across this one from Amara Living that just met the aesthetics that I was looking for. Initially, I was looking for Victorian ones and I almost bought a Victorian one that was about 250 pounds, but I came across this one, it's quite heavy, on Amara Living that was only 90 pounds. So I thought, oh, I love the aesthetic and it completely um, comes at a great price point. And it is, it, 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 I can't speak today. It is by a brand called Retreat. And I think Retreat are a brand that specialise in home interiors, but have lots and lots of products that actually are designed for the fireplace. So I'm gonna try and lift it so you guys can actually see it. But it is this beautiful round um, iron, it's actually a wood basket um, to be completely clear on what it actually is. So it is a wood basket. I love, 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 love the aesthetics of it. And of course it goes really well with my interiors. And my plan is basically, wait for it guys, because I do have it to, uh, to, to, to the right of me. My plan is basically, hopefully there are no spiders in here, is to basically style it with lots and lots of wood pieces that I basically bought from Amazon. So these are just wood pieces that I bought from Amazon. So the plan is basically to style this with lots and lots of wood pieces. I'm not gonna do it properly now, um, but I will definitely show you maybe like a Christmas decorating video. 
Um, but the plan is basically to style this basket with lots and lots of wood pieces and then basically remove the bouquet of flowers that I have in my fireplace and replace them with this, which again, I think will really contribute to my lovely Christmas vibes uh, that I'm trying to create. I, ha I do have to say though, if you are gonna buy anything like that, measure the depth of your fireplace because I did not do that. I didn't measure the depth of my fireplace and literally got so, so lucky that it just about fits into my fireplace. So do you measure the depth of your fireplace before you buy anything to make sure that it actually fits? So lesson learned there. The next few pieces actually are not christmas E, but are going to be needed for the Christmas period. And I'm sharing this with you guys because, you know, you guys love aesthetics as much as I do, I think. So even um, everyday functional items have to kind of, you know, deliver on function as well as aesthetics. And I think if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may remember when I ordered a soap dispenser from Amazon, I was looking for a ceramic one and I ordered one from Amazon and it was just basically a shambles. I've been using it for about, I want to say maybe six months and the quality is poor. It's basically broken and therefore I'm really in need of a new one. And I came across this one on Amara Living. It's by Alessi, um, who are, I think, an Italian brand. I actually have no idea. I'm gonna just guess that they are Italian, but they are a brand that basically do items for the home, is the best way I can describe it. And this soap dispenser, I have to say, is really expensive. It's 30 pounds for this tiny bit of plastic here, long um, use plastic. So it comes with this um, plastic bottle inside that you put your, basically the plan for this is to put my um, fairy washing up liquid in. I only use antibacterial blue fairy liquid because I need just to feel some level of confidence that all the bacteria on my dishes, on my cutlery, you know, is being basically taken care of. And that's why I have to use antibacterial. The issue though is it's blue. So blue is not really a color that goes with my aesthetics and therefore I needed to have a non-see-through fairy liquid dispenser to basically sit on top of my kitchen countertop. And that is really why I went for this one, but it's quite expensive, it's 30 pounds. And the one that I bought on Amazon was about seven pounds or something like that. So it is quite expensive, but I, it doesn't look like it's well made. And, ooh, if I click it, how does that work? Does that work, am I doing it properly? Oh right, so that's, 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 <laughs> that's the motion <laughs> that you basically, do to dispense your washing um, detergent. So I will link it below again, hopefully it's still available. It is just very simple in design, very kind of unoffensive and definitely will last a lot longer than this ceramic one that I bought from Amazon that was just really poor quality and it broke within, you know, within a few weeks. So that I thought I'd share with you. Not Christmas related, but if you're decorating your house for Christmas, all of these little things I think do actually matter. And then, um, the last time my sister came to my house, she told, me that I, she told me that I needed to have coasters because I don't actually have any coasters. So I ended up basically buying marble coasters from Amara Living. I'm not sure how this is gonna work because I think this is untreated marble. Um, I'm gonna bring it closer so hopefully you can see. Untreated marble is dangerous because basically it absorbs stains. So I'm gonna see how this actually goes, but I needed to have coasters um, which is basically why I bought these from Amara Living. I bought eight of them in total. Obviously, you're gonna need to have somewhere where your family and your guests can place their drinks, um, hence why this is part of my Christmas loot and haul. So, what have I not covered or talked about? So we talked about, um, what have we talked about? We talked about wrapping paper, Christmas crackers, those beautiful candles from Bam Elephant and Bamboo, um, my fire basket, the wood, tree topper. We've pretty much covered it all, I think. I think that's basically everything that I've got in this loot. I'm gonna do more festive videos over the next maybe couple of weeks or so. I have to decorate my tree, so stay tuned to see how that turns out because that is something that I really enjoy doing. I 
Also think I mentioned that I ordered a completely new tree because the one that I ordered last year is just not working for me. So stay tuned to see how the new tree fits into this house. It's bigger, it's just more beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.